What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregos TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's uh, really early in the morning here in San Diego, but I am getting this video out for you guys because why? Well, I got the update finally in the United States, obviously, because that's where I live, for the Galaxy one UI 4.1 update for my Z Fold 3. I know it's also out in the US for Note 20. I just saw an article about that and I believe there was another phone as well. And I know it's rolling out and it is in a lot of other places as well, but finally the US got the update. Okay, I want, and, and if you have the Z Fold 3, I kind of just wanted to roll through some of the things you might see just in case anything different does pop up. So without further ado, um, first of all, why don't we talk about the size of the update. It is a 1.16 gig update. So pretty big update for you and you would expect that because it brought with it a lot of new features. It says uh, right off the top, it says brings you the latest features for your Galaxy devices, more intuitive, more fun, more secure and easier than ever. So I love that. So basically you're gonna get more options for portrait videos. You can capture great portrait photos even when your subject is far away. You can now record portrait videos with the 2X lens. Uh, you can get the full director's view which means that you can uh, you view separate, you can do separate front and rear videos so you can edit them later even after you're done recording. So you use all the lenses basically at once on there. And then we have the update to the gallery app. The gallery app, you can do more with your memories, bring enhanced features, powerful remastering of your photos, more suggestions on terms of artistic portraits and exciting highlight reels. You can add portrait effects so that you can add background blur to any picture with a person in view. So if you didn't set something up with um, portrait effect, which that's where it takes a photo of the person and then blurs out the background, you can now do that with un portraited photos in the gallery app. You get portrait lighting, which will adjust the lighting to portraits even after you've taken them. Very, very cool. You also have your convert unnecessary motion photos to still images. Uh, and that'll save storage space by converting motion photos to still images. You can share albums as links. So no, no need to invite people to share albums individually anymore. Just create a link that can be shared with anyone. All your invitations together, easily accept invitations to shared albums, even if you miss the notifications. You can create time-lapsed videos now, uh, turn a picture into a vivid 24-hour time-lapse video. You got your new AR zone stuff. Do you guys use that stuff? I never do AR stuff on here. I just do not use that. Uh, Google Duo updates, you can do more calls, uh, do more during video calls. You can share another app's screen during a video call. I believe you could do that before too. I don't remember not being able to do it. Oh, I guess you can watch YouTube. That makes sense. Okay, that's cool. Share some photos, explore maps and more. Join video calls in presentation mode. During a video call on your phone, you can join the same call on your tablet in presentation mode. We'll have to check that one out. Samsung Health, I don't really use that, but you can get deeper insights into your health and enhance exercise tracking. You then have, oh, there's even built in sleep habits and insights about your body composition and enhanced exercise tracking. You have your smart switch has been updated. You can transfer which it could do all this stuff before, but whatever. It says more than ever. What's different there? It seems like you, you're transferring the same amount of stuff. Oh, I guess it's more. You get three options when transferring content to your new Galaxy. You can choose to transfer everything for your accounts. You could still do that last time. Get notified when you leave something behind. That's cool. So now you'll get, it, Apple already has that, but it'll notify you if you've Left, left something behind whenever your smart tag is too far away to connect to your phone. I use some smart tags, but I use them on my keys. I still use those to this day. Found a lost device together. You can share the location of it. One UI gives you more options to share with others. You can share over your share your Wi-Fi network. I'll do a video on that. I think that's a good video to do, so I will do a separate video on sharing your Wi-Fi network. Include editing history when you share pictures and videos. Color palette, smart suggestions, clean up shadows and reflections in photo editor, add emojis to your calendar. Ooh, that's exciting. Choose apps for text correction in Samsung keyboard. I use Gboard, but okay. More widely available keyboard options. Customize your sound balance between the left and the right speakers. New actions for Bixby routines. Customize your virtual memory, which means you can go from, I think it was two to eight gigabytes now on your Z Fold 3, which is cool. Uh, game optimizing service. This is the, uh, what is GSO? I can't remember the initials for it. Yeah, I think it's GSO. 
uh, app so that now your gaming performance isn't tied to uh, what they want you to do. It's based off the, the quality of how hot your phone is and stuff like that. And you can go in there and turn it into improved performance when I've done a video on that. So just look for, look for the GSO video on my uh, channel. And that's it, that's what, it was a big update. So if you have a Z Fold 3, go in there and get it. Z Flip 3 got it too, that was the other device that got it. So it was Z Flip 3, Note 20, and Z Fold 3 all got it like yesterday, today. So make sure you go and download it from there. Thanks so much guys. Obviously you've probably been seeing this little red thing here. This is everybody that's a YouTube member on here. If you wanna become a YouTube member, just click that join button. And if you pay $4.99 or more, you can get your name on here. And we're gonna start doing some more stuff for you guys as well, for those folks that help with the channel. And then the question of the day is, is there a One UI 4.1 feature that you like so far? Maybe you caught it, I just talked about it, or I talked about it in the past, or you, maybe you just realized it yourself that you really, really like. Let me know in the comments down below. With that said, let's get to the Q&A portion of the video and drop that boom. First question comes from YouTube Pro asking, question, what gaming company that makes laptops and computers from Microsoft Windows software do you think it's going to make a competitor to the Steam Deck? My guess is Asus, uh, since they make phones, tablets, laptops, computers, portable monitors, giant monitors. So basically, yeah, I don't, that's a good question, which one would make a, a competitor to the Steam Deck? Steam Deck, if you didn't know, is a handheld PC gaming system that allows you to play your Steam library. Uh, Steam is putting it out. Who I think it really Steam would have to let somebody do this if they're going to allow them to use the Steam library. Otherwise, whoever does this is going to want to be backed up by some kind of gaming company as well, because otherwise it's going to be really difficult to make a handheld system that can play these games. I mean, without the library, I mean, I guess they could still. I don't know. I, I, maybe if Steam lets them, which wouldn't really surprise me all that much if they allow companies to use their software and use it inside of a handheld gaming system. I can see that, but I, I agree with you. Probably, I wouldn't be surprised to see Asus. New York's Finest is next saying, can your viewers help me please? When you swipe down on the notification and select Smart View, does your phone mirror to your TV? It doesn't work on my Ultra, but it worked on my Note 10 Plus. Uh, so let me check it on mine. And it does see some stuff right here. It sees uh, my Roku TV, it doesn't see all my devices because I do have some, oh, I have, no, actually my Samsung TV is disconnected. I, right at this point, I only have TCL TV, Skyworth TVs, and LG TV, and it's only showing one of my Roku TVs, it looks like. I guess it does work. Does it work with everything? No, it doesn't look like it anymore. Next up is from Gary Middlebrook. Say, hey, I was wondering, is there something on the phone settings you need to change or do in order to shoot in pro mode as I have external mic and adapter and can't seem to get the setup? We're sorry for the no no newbie style question. Oh, that's not a newbie style question at all. All right, so I got my microphone in, got pro video up. On my, on my camera. Make sure you're on pro video, not pro, just pro photo or something. It has to be pro uh, video. There's a thing that says mic. Just make sure it says USB. You can tap on it and choose uh, rear, front, or omni. Those are gonna be the camera, camera microphones, but you want the one that says USB, so make sure you choose that one. Then that will allow you to get the audio from your, your camera. Next up comes from Jackson Berger has, what would your ideal phone be? Rollable, triple fold, features, OS preference. Thank you for making some of the best videos in tech. That's a good one. Um, I would say, and thank you for the kind words, I would go with, I would never try to rollable. I, I don't think I would end up really liking a rollable. I think it would be cumbersome. So I'd probably say in triple fold, I haven't felt, I haven't played with that. So that might be cumbersome. I would just like a really, really big fo foldable phone with a big outside display as well, but nothing huge on the outside, something maybe the size of this would be would be plenty for me. Beyond that though, OS, I would go, I like One UI, so I'd probably choose One UI, and I would also choose, uh, yeah, so I'd say big foldable, kind of like we have now with the Z Fold 3, but bigger, with One UI, I, One UI 4.1. And our last question comes from Jonathan Oren, who said, I noticed you had got guitars behind you, yes, I do. And uh, are you a guitar player? If so, are you in a band? I play the drums and bass live in Tel Aviv, Israel, and I play sometimes around town here. I used to be in a band. I used to be in a band. I had a band from the age of 21 to the 29. We were in a band, released four albums, 
And um, then from there, we broke up and I was in another band and we kind of put an album out um, and we played some shows. Yeah, so kind of, so yes, I can, I can play guitar. I was a guitar and I was the singer of both bands uh, and the primary songwriter of both bands actually too. So yeah, a little bit of trivia for you. I've kind of mentioned it in the past too about my musical prowess. I'm not amazing at guitar, more just a uh, rhythm guitar when I play, but yeah, I can get, I can play some chords and stuff and sing, so yeah. There you guys go. Thank you so much for your questions. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below and we'll see you guys down the road. Peace.